This video is sponsored by Trico Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman will news report today, June 10th, 2024. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Pro-Palestinian protests invade Wall Street, and it gets much worse than that, folks. Stick around for some videos. Parts of Wall Street are currently under siege as hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters flood the financial district of Lower Manhattan, and they weren't prepared. The demonstrators are demanding an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. This comes after protesters surrounded the White House on Saturday. Quote, Hamas and Hezlebah flags in Lower Manhattan. Believe people when they tell you who they are. One user said on X. Happening now, the pro-terror mob has gathered outside the Nova exhibit in New York City. Truly disgusting. They are protesting outside a memorial to the victims of October 7th. What do you think that flag they're waving says? And who do you think's paying for all this? Well, you're about to learn. Pro-Hamas supporters in New York City are currently waving around a banner which says, Long Live October 7th. And that was apparently sponsored by Simit Doon also known as the Palestinian Prisoner Solidarity Network, which is a Canadian non-profit which is linked to the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, who is considered a terrorist organization in the United States, Japan, Canada, and the European Union. Also a reminder that members of both the Popular Front and the Liberation of Palestine and Semedun spoke at the Palestinian conference recently in which a sitting member of Congress also made a speech. Again, welcome to Joe Biden's America. Unbelievable. And I'm guessing most of these people don't know much about the facts of anything. And yes, it can even get worse because now we have pro-Israeli, pro-USA protesters mixed in with the pro-Palestinian protesters. And ladies and gentlemen, this could be a catastrophe at any moment. The Day of Rage protests live, right? Again, we have USA protests, pro-Israel protesters, and pro-Palestinian protesters all out on the streets currently. God bless you and yours. This is what Democrats want chaos, fear, hatred, division, divide and conquer. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.